Hi guys, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halo RV with another little weekly-ish web installment. And today I want to kind of talk about, for those who like seasonal or park type camping, the difference really between a, a park model and a fifth wheel for seasonal or semi-permanent or permanent living. Um, they uh, can have real similar floor plans and uh, the lines can get kind of blurred between the two. And really, it, to me, it boils down to, do you need the outside storage or not? Fifth wheels are just gonna have better outside storage. Uh, they have that big front compartment. Some of these things have giant, massive rear garages now that offer just monster storage. Um, the one deficiency with a park model is that they just don't have good outside storage. You might get lucky and get a pocket under the bed in the bedroom slide, but that's about it. The, the way that a park model like the one that we're in here, this is a Jayco bungalow, which is a really good seller. Um, they don't tend to have good outside storage. There's just nowhere to put it. Um, everything is slides, everything is bathroom, everything is a patio door. There's no space to have a pocket for storage. That elevated gooseneck nature of a fifth wheel leaves a natural organic pocket to be able to just shove stuff inside of it. Um, that being said, there are massive benefits to going to a park model versus a fifth wheel for um, full-time or park living. If you don't intend on towing this thing, uh, a park model is half the cost of an equivalently sized fifth wheel. Half. For, like, for real. Um, you know, where a, a really well-equipped park model might be thirty to 40000 an equivalently sized fifth wheel is probably going to be um, upwards of seventy. Now, um, there are those nice mid-sized 35-foot fifth wheels that will kind of make that gap close quite a bit. But like I said, a, a big 40-foot true park model, a 40-foot wide-body fifth wheel, like uh, most park models are wide body, at least the ones we carry anyway, there are some that are not, um, it'll be half the cost. Also, one flat deck. There's no steps. There's no gooseneck. Um, that does give you storage, but it also means you're going up and down and up and down all day. Usually upstairs is where you have your bathroom, your bedroom, your closet space. You're going to be in and out of that all day. It's nice to not have to deal with that. Um, park models are better generally speaking for having a deck put up next to them. Usually the floor plans are built with that in mind. Fifth wheels are not designed to have a deck slapped against the side of them. Um, you know, you'll tend to get uh, the sliding um, patio doors in a park model. You usually don't see those in a fifth wheel. I'm seeing a few here and there, um, but it's, it's the exception, it's not the rule. On a park model, you tend to always have them. Uh, most park models are plenty tall, and, and in that respect, they're washed. Fifth wheels are going to have those big cathedral-style, like, vaulted ceilings. Um, park models are usually at least seven foot tall inside, if not eight, eight and a half feet. Uh, like, this, this park model trailer we're in has the same massive walk-in slide height as a brand new Jayco designer, but here it comes in at less than half the cost. Um, the trick is, though, you're really not going to move a park model very often. The cool thing though, a lot of people don't need tow vehicles anymore because we can deliver things like this right to your site. So if you have a site in mind, if you've got that spot by the lake, it works great. And that's kind of the difference. If you're going to, like, if you're a snowbird or a sunbird, if you live in Michigan and vacation in Florida or vice versa, whichever way you like to go, fifth wheel is definitely going to be the better option for you because you can move it easily. Big park models are just not real road friendly. They're just not made for that. Yes, they have, you know, the tongue and the bumper and, and the wheels and they can go down the road, but that's just, they're intended to be parked somewhere and, and left there for an extended period of time. Um, and that's really a difference. If you're going to move it, look at a fifth wheel. If you're not going to move it, unless you're just absolutely in love with the brand and the floor plan, and if you can't live without the extra flashy features for double the money, get a park model. Save yourself a lot of money. And chances are, they're, they're so hard to come by in the used market. You put the word used in the same sentence as park model, gone just overnight and I mean literally the last one we had was here for two hours and that's because the salesman didn't know it was here the first hour we have a, a laundry list of customers we're trying to call wow my head's getting shiny my hair is getting thin look at that <laughs> oh well that's why I cut it short mother nature can't fire me because I quit but I'm rambling now so um, if you have more questions or if you'd like to see a couple samples or side-by-side -side comparisons, just give us a call. We carry both and we're blessed with a lot of permanent and seasonal campgrounds around here. We see a lot of this business and we're far more prepared to handle that than a lot of places out there. There's other places that have park models. It's not. It's a good segment of the business. Not a lot of places do as many as we do though. So give us a call, 
5196 Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and happy camping. Have some fun.